This is the safe and loving place we go when we're in trouble. Oh, that's a good boy. Very good boy. And let me love you on this side. Licking and chewing about that. Yeah. Can I get your nose over here? Oh, that's my good boy. That's my good boy. All right. Let's try to get the rain over that mane. Okay, let's get you warmed up. Get me warmed up too. And no, I need you to step over some inside leg, outside rain. Good. He's like ready to trot. I'm like, I want to get going. Yeah, well, we need to warm up first. Got to warm up with me and listen. Listen to me. Mm -hmm. And a one rain stop. Make sure I've got that going for us. Give me that nose. Very good. And step over. Very good. So my outside leg pushed on that forehand for him to step over on the forehand. Good boy. And turn. Very good. And a one rein stop. So you slide. Pull to the hip. Never pull in front of you or uh, up high. Good boy. So when you're doing a one rein stop, make sure you bring your hand to your leg, to your thigh, up towards your hip. You don't have to get to the hip, but leave the hand on the thigh. Very good. You don't want to be up in the air. You don't want to be in front. Uh, if you pull up in the air, you can flip a horse over. If you're pulling like that, that's how they do it in the movies. That's how they flip horses over. You don't want to do that because you can get hurt or worse. So always pull to your thigh, and when you put your hand on your thigh, it is actually an, like an extra energetic grab. Your thigh and hand become one in this energetic field, so it's easier to hold your horse's nose, especially if you've got somebody resisting you. You can pull that nose and hold it so much easier with your hand on your thigh. And step over, so inside leg, outside rein to get him over. Thank you as we're working on straight lines and listening and inside leg and outside ring. Good. Ah, that was kind of fun. Did a little bit of a side pass there. Kind of exaggerating to teach and we refine as we go. So F to H. Just kind of turn him around. No, no, no. There we go. So he's equating my feet to go and that's not necessarily what I'm asking. I'm pushing with my feet, with my legs, not asking him to go. And so he's having to learn the difference. So inside leg, inside rein, ho, walk, 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 walk. And that was something new too that he had to learn. I did a little squeeze, one, two, three, with my fingers. I squeeze to help him understand to walk, but I'm using my foot to turn him, not to trot. And he's He's a little confused. He thinks the foot means go. One foot means turn, move the body. Very good. Two feet means go. So I'm going to break that down for him. But sometimes you'll use two feet to make a tight turn, but we'll just start with one foot. There. So he'll learn the difference, the position of the feet too. Position of the feet together, two feet, and that means go. But if you've got one foot forward, one foot back, because you're turning that body in a nice tight turn, subtly, he needs to understand, oh, that subtle difference in where the feet are located doesn't mean go. There. So a tight turn B to E, inside foot. Very good. Very good. You're listening. I so appreciate that. And we're going to take a left. So inside foot, inside rein, very walk, 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 walk. And if he doesn't, then I will shut him down in a one rein stop. So I have a feeling we're going to have to start uh, teaching that when I ask for that walk and he's trotting. I have a feeling we're going to have to shut him down a couple times for him to really figure that out. Inside rein. No, that's not helping. Okay. 
There you go, buddy. So always give your horse's head as soon as you've stopped asking for whatever it is. So you'll see, I put my reins forward. My knees are, or my elbows are loose, but I still will move. Ah, 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 ah. There we go. I will move my hands forward when I'm done asking. Get to give them their head or you're gonna have a very frustrated horse. And then turn. He's kind of anticipating me doing side passing. I'm not going to do it. If he's going to anticipate it, I'm not going to do it. And we're going to turn to E. Turn, turn, good. So I use that inside foot against his body to move that hip around. Inside foot and inside rein. Very good. And we're going to do inside foot, inside rein to F. F, very good. And head to F. Very good. Whew, all this turning is confusing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And ho, oh, two, three. Oh, that was good. I was just about to put him in a one rein stop. Very good. Very, very good. You're doing a great job. Yes, you are. You're doing a great, great job. Okay, let's take a look at K. We're going to go to K. Very good. Very good. Very, very good. H, some nice subtle movements, and ho, two, three, and shut you down, because I'm trying to really refine. Once you step, step, good, disengage. Shh. Yeah, you don't use your mouth on my boot. Give me that nose. Good boy. So he just learned a lesson. Oof, she meant that. It wasn't hard, but it was hard enough for him to, oh, I better not do that again. Boots are not to chew on. Walk, shut him down, and disengage, disengage, good, good, very good. So I asked him to walk and he didn't, I had to shut him down. I have a feeling that's going to be today's lessons, is walking and listening. Walking and listening and get your bottom. There we go. Get your bottom around. There you go. No, nope. now I've lost control. That's all right. We'll get it. Very good, very good, very good. Very, very good. That was just a lighter touch, not so much pressure on the reins. Try with a lighter touch first. Yes, that like going up the V kind of thing. Let's see if I can get him to. I'd like to get that butt around. There, there, there. That was helpful. Nose with the finger on the bottom, on the hip. Hey, yay, let's party on that. That was real good. I want to stop you. Ho, two, three. That was so good. That was so good. Everything that was just perfect stop very good I know you are sniffing but no biting I'm gonna let him soak on that for just a minute not ask him anything more just hang for a minute let that all soak in I don't even want to take a walk because walking requires commands and I don't want him to have to navigate commands right now just sit just sit let that make sense yeah all that that just happens gotta make sense that was so good much better a little refinement yes just a little bit at a time i am so proud of you very very good Whew, that was so good yes okay let's try that again let's just head to k now we're just going to go for a little walk and then we'll come back to it key is not to drill it into the ground i think the mistake we make is trying to perfect in one day. Don't do that. That's so frustrating. This is why holistic training, it takes time, but once it's done, oh man, the relationship and the sense of connection is remarkable, phenomenal, and magical.